What's up guys, it's Sam here with Stolt Fitness and I'm back with another workout video. Make sure to press that like button if you enjoy this video or subscribe if you haven't already. I put lots of different type of uh, content out, mainly fitness related. Check out how quickly I do these. Oh yeah, super freaking easy. Um, everything's gonna look a little bit quick because the footage was a little long. So even when I tried to edit it down to a shorter time frame, uh, I still put it on one and a half times the speed so that it could go through a little bit quicker. So in this video I do chest. These are some of the things right here, these rotations. I almost always do, especially on shoulder day and chest day as a warm up. And as you can see, I'm doing pull-ups in between them. The, uh, what I've been doing for the last couple months is whenever I'm doing a, whatever I did the day before. So in this video, the day before I had done legs, or I'm sorry, back. So I did a little bit of pull-ups, maybe like three to five sets of whatever I did the day before. So this day I did chest, the following day I did legs. So on my leg day, I did some uh, flies, like three to four sets of flies, maybe 15 to 20 reps each, just to get some blood in there and add in a little bit more volume. Uh, I find it's working out nicely, you know, before I even had a pump. So then I jump into a couple warm-up sets, I believe. And it looks like I'm going super quick. But that's because I sped it up. Uh, I do have a weight belt on. And there's nobody else in this gym, which is freaking awesome. So this past week, I actually, my gym, so I, the place I work is kind of like a private gym, but nobody else really uses it. So I actually had them get a bunch of new equipment, which is freaking awesome. So if you watched the last video I had, or maybe two videos ago with a back workout, and I'll put a link of it either on here or in the description, the white piece of equipment that you see a giant white contraption one of those universal gyms where they have a little bit of everything all connected into one piece of equipment that white machine i didn't really care for and i was able to talk them into uh getting individual individual pieces so this past week we got a leg extension leg curl hack squat that's going to be here probably in the next couple weeks a um, stairmaster which i'm freaking stoked about my favorite piece of cardio equipment uh what else do we get a pec deck and rear delt and then lat pull down a row machine so maybe i'll i should do another back training video so i started with uh, flat bench and then went into incline bench here. I tend to like to get eight reps on these So I think on the second set here. Oh, well, I did a warm-up set first and then this but on my second set of 225 I believe I get six or seven So on the so this sets two and a quarter I get let's see one two three four Come on five Six, come on, seven. So I got seven there. So I dropped down the weight here to uh, 35. What is that, 70, it's 135. So that's 205 here. Cause I don't like to get less than eight reps unless I'm doing like a five by five type of a program. And I don't do strength programs very frequently. So if I can't get eight reps with whatever weight I'm working with, I tend to drop it down a little. Uh, then I switch to uh, going back and forth like a superset between these. A little bit of work for the upper chest. I tend to do a little bit more work for the upper chest than in any other part of the chest. And I do not really do any decline on the bench, uh, either with dumbbells or with barbells. I just don't really like decline too much. Uh, it's sometimes it bothers my shoulder or my elbow or maybe this is an excuse not to do it. I just don't like decline. I think it's far more productive to do, oh man, these reps look like crap. I don't know if it's because of the speed or they just don't look very wide. 
uh, I don't know if it's because of the speed or, or I mean sorry I don't know if it's the range of motion or whatever but I feel like incline does a lot more it's a lot more productive than doing decline with the incline you get a lot more development in the upper clavicle area and if you notice on a lot of guys either who've been lifting for a while or especially new guys they don't have if you look here uh, on my chest up above and uh, we're below the clavicle about you know the next two three inches down there's actual some there's a pretty good development i would say i mean there's always room for improvement but um i tend to do a little bit more of the upper chest just for that specific reason because that tends to be a difficult portion of your chest to develop so these were getting difficult at this point i was a little tired uh so actually what i have been doing now and uh i use i've been using an interval timer and every minute i've been doing another set so say i was doing these flies i would do my set of flies and say it took 23 seconds. Then I have 37 seconds of rest before I do my next set. Um, uh, if you want to see a video of that, maybe I can do one of shoulders, make sure to press that like button so I know and I can get one of those out to you. Uh, it's been, I started that this week. So this is uh, September 14th and this video was actually filmed last week. But uh, I started that this week, so maybe I'll do 40 sets within that time period. Obviously I'm going less weight, but I started the week out with legs and I did front squats, regular squats, calves to give my legs a break. That's why I did calves, so it's fucking dying. Um, what else did I do? Uh, lunges, for the lunges I did those, generally they take forever, so I did one minute of lunges, which is, you know, 10 reps and 10, or 10, yeah, 10 reps on each leg, and then a minute rest, and I also did straight leg or Romanian deadlifts. And all the weights were down significantly, but literally felt like I was a brand new lifter. My legs were extremely sore, and I haven't been that sore in a while. They'll get sore, or maybe my glutes will get sore, or my quads, or my hamstrings, or something, but generally it's not all around, or hasn't been in a little while. So, it's... I'm, I'm digging it. I did back this way yesterday. Uh, it's a little tight. Haven't really noticed. I'm thinking tomorrow morning it should be sore. And then I did the same thing with chest today. So this was towards the end of my chest routine, doing some single arm presses. Over the last year or so, I've been working a lot more volume and work on my different, just different angles and exercises for my triceps to try to bring them up. I thought they were underdeveloped. So over the last year, I've noticed a tremendous difference in the development overall of my tricep and the size, but also in the shape of them. It's, can't tell in this picture, but. I personally, if you go check out one of my older videos on my channel, you'll see how much smaller my triceps were just a year or two years ago. One of those videos, you'll see how much smaller they are. And I threw in some leg raises. I don't do a lot of core, so I've been consciously trying to hold my core more active throughout the day just because I don't do exercises for it a ton. Uh, except for when I am at home, I do like to do some, uh, like first thing in the morning, I will do a couple sets of vacuums, you know, for 15 seconds or something like that. So, and then I think towards the end of this video, I actually have a little bit of practice posing not not this posing, but <laughs> different. Like pretty fucking intense there. So just recently, if you look at my horseshoe there on the tricep, uh, the part closest to my body, I actually started seeing striations in. There's horizontal muscle fiber. That's actually how your tricep looks. And just recently I started seeing horizontal striations in that part of my tricep. So I thought that was really cool. 
This is the middle of September and I will actually be <laughs> practicing my waving. Uh, at the end of September, so the beginning of October, I will start my bulk. I haven't weighed myself in a few weeks, but I'm probably about 208 here-ish, maybe. 205 in that range. Um, make sure to subscribe and press that like button if you like this.